Hi, my name is Mark Holmes. I'm the chapter business attorney, and uh, I'm going to talk to you about contracts today. And why am I going to talk to you about so, uh, contracts today? Well, contracts are an integral part of your business. Everybody out here who has their own business is very good at what they do. Right? You have this thing that you do that makes you money. Now, you are making money in the context of what we call a social contract. Right? If there wasn't a social contract, you couldn't do what you do. Business doesn't exist in the wild, I'll tell you that. It's just too crazy. <laughs> You'd say, would you like to buy something? No, they just kill you and take it. Right? <laughs> so marketing isn't necessary in the wild. <laughs> So what you're doing is in the context of a social contract. And there are people in this room who ha unfortunately have to deal with the social contract every day. There's about four of us, right? Uh, I happen to deal with the business side of the social contract. And everybody's going, what the hell is a social contract? <coughs> Look around you. Everything that's existing around you right now is part of this social contract, right? We have these agreements about how things are going to be. You may not think about them consciously, right? But they're there, right? We have agreements, for instance, how we're going to build buildings, right? Otherwise, buildings would just fall down <laughs> willy-nilly, spontaneously, right? Because somebody said, nah, I don't want to build it that way, so it's going to fall down. So I handled the business part. And I stand up here every week and I say, will you please come and drink some coffee with me and we'll talk. Now, why do you think I want to talk to you about your business? Protect it. Well, yeah, that's that's what I, I want to understand how your business works. I want to understand how you interact in the social contract. In other words, if you're doing dry cleaning, or if you're constructing renovations, or if you're selling insurance, right? I want to know how you do that because if you tell me what you do. I can put it into the social contract that I understand, the business contract, and I can help you regulate that. Now, everybody is familiar with written contracts. That's where you have a piece of paper, and there's usually two signatures. At least we pray there are two signatures. Because <laughs> <laughs> there are two, at least two parties to the contract, right? Somebody who's basically giving something and somebody who's giving something back in return, right? That's called an exchange. Um, I'm very interested in putting those together, and why do you think that is? Because, well, it basically, it, it, it protects you, right? But it helps you make you do your business better. And it helps you basically make more money at what you do, be more successful at what you do. Now, how can you be more successful? Well, you talked about protection, right? That's one thing. You can make more money. That's always better for your business, isn't it? Right? You can have more security, which is part of the protection package. And here's another thing. You can have more credibility. You know, we're all grown-ups now. And I will tell you, one of the things that reflects poorly on people is when they don't have a professional look, image, presentation. And I'll tell you, in certain contexts, if you don't have a good-looking contract, people look at you and say, you're not really professional. Now. When I talk to you, I basically take what I learn about how you do your business and I insert it into contracts. Now, there are all different kinds of contracts. One example is uh, Pat will go into a house and he'll say, I'll give you an estimate how much it's going to cost to clean up this hellish mess you have, right? <laughs> right? That's an estimate. That's the, that's the beginning of the contract. And he might also use something called a work order, which is sometimes an estimate as well, right? Or he might present them with an invoice, right? Or he might actually have a contract, which would, if he's going to do some work on the house in excess of $500 in the state of California, you need to have what they call a home improvement contract, subject to a statute, right? So you might want to have that signed with all the proper clauses and notices and so forth, you see. And if you have the proper contract for your business and you basically get the other party to sign it, you now have had an agreement within the context of the social contract as to how you're going to do your business. And it covers all kinds of cool things. What are important things when you uh, have a contract that you work as the business owner, you want to make sure are there? 
Yeah, somebody said it. How am I going to get paid? <laughs> That's it. How much is it? Yeah, am I going to get paid? Right, is a very important thing. And how much am I going to get paid? When am I going to get paid? Right? Do I get a deposit? Right? Is there going to be a schedule that I get paid on? Right? Am I going to get paid by the hour? Do I get paid when I leave the office and drive over to your, your place of business, your, to your house, and then get paid again driving back? These things are important, aren't they? Because you see, if you don't have them written down and you don't have them understood and agreed to, right, you have the opportunity for litigation, litigation, disputes, right? Now, disputes are not good in business. Why? How many people get lots of repeat customers, right, after they have a dispute with them? <laughs> Nobody, right? You've lost that customer. And you guys know more than anybody else how much it costs to get a customer get somebody to give you money, right? Because if you get them to give you money one time, they might give you money again. <laughs> and if it really works out, they'll do it again and again and again. So don't you want to have your arrangements and your understandings with your customers really, really clear so they keep coming back again and again and again? because they're going to get the same thing exactly what they expect again and again and again. That's what a contract is all about. And so when you come and drink coffee with me, that's what I'm getting out of you. And that's what I can offer you. Um, my background, I've talked about a little bit. I've done over a thousand contracts. That's about one a week since I've been a lawyer. There are very few contracts that I have not done. And so essentially, uh, because I am a hoarder, I keep all of them. <laughs> and because I'm a little bit of a techno person, I put them on a computer. And so they're in a form that I can call up. I have them indexed. I have them encyclopedized. <laughs> I, I just go find, I go find them. And so I'm really, when I tell you I can do a contract for $900, I'm not kidding. I've got your contract already. <laughs> we're just going to sit down and we're going to tailor it for you. Yeah. Exactly for you. So that you can be effective and comfortable and successful with that contract. Maybe somebody else wouldn't be successful with that particular contract, but you will be. Why? Because it's fit to you. And it has all the bells and whistles that you need. Dr. Valentine, may I help you? Yes, sir. you've got two minutes. Okay. I thought it was victory. Yes, I, I, I feel like I'm killing up here, brother. <laughs> it is victory. <laughs> so, it, in, 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 basically to wind up, the reason why I'm asking you to come and have coffee with me is to learn more about your business so I can make you more successful, so you can do better, so you can have repeat customers, and you can say, damn, that was the best $900 investment I ever made in a contract. Now, what is important about what I do? Do I just give you one contract for one customer and say, okay, that's what you get? No, I insist that I give you the form. And I insist that I develop the contract so that it's so easy. All you have to do is put in the customer, right? And if you do the, you charge the same price every time, you don't even have to put in the price. Just put in the customer's name and get it signed, usually. And you can use it over and over and over and over and over again. <clears throat> is that a good idea? Mm -hmm. Now, if you use estimates and work orders and invoices, do I give you all of those? Yes. Why? Because I want you to use all of them. I want you to try to get them all signed. Because I'll tell you what the worst thing in the world is, not getting your contract signed. <laughs> Why? Because you don't have a contract. <laughs> you can say you have a contract, but uh, our real estate person, uh, Gene, right? Uh, isn't it just an adventure in, oh, it's actually hell, listening to people tell you what they thought the contract was that they didn't sign? It's it's like two people live on different galaxies, right? They're just talking to each other like, really? I, I was there, and I swear to God, that didn't happen, right? But if you write it down later on, people can't say that because everybody's going to say, you may have been thinking of that, but nobody else on the planet was, okay? So that's why I exhort you, I beg you, please come in, spend some time with me. I can get you regulated. You'll be a lot happier. You'll spend a lot more time on your business making money, right? And in the end, you'll have a lot more customers. Thanks so much.